Welcome to Midday Evening Prayer. Uh, we're going to start with a minute of uh, this beautiful uh, hymns from India, from the Christians in India. While we wait, ask me for more people to show up. So I guess we're it. Um, welcome, uh, Brother Sean, Sister Lynn, and to all who may join us later uh, when I put this up on YouTube posting and also to uh, anybody who uh, shows up on Facebook Live, which is actually working for a change. So I'm welcoming all to um, our midday evening prayer. And I wanna start with something that Sister Olivia told us, taught us this morning in her wonderful centering prayer. And I thought it was a very fitting way to think about us doing prayers together. This is from Julian of Norwich, her advice on how to grow in the spiritual life. And the first thing is silence. So when we come to our prayer sessions together, we silence the rest of our lives, don't we? We're not on the internet, we're not scrolling on our phones, we're not looking at Facebook, we're not listening to the radio. We're silent just for prayer and to be with each other. And what we're doing, the second word she said after silence was flee. So we flee to our prayer sessions together. We flee from the world and all its distractions and all its stress and problems. And we just flee in silence together. And the third word was repose. So after we're silent together and we flee together, we rest together, we repose together in prayer as a community. So we're reposing together. Thank you for being together. So remember, silence, flee, and repose. So on that note, I'm going to uh, light my candle with two wicks, one for this side of the world and one for the other side of the world. Uh, that this light is a symbol of God's light and a symbol of God's light within us that we share together. When we pray together, we share our light with each other, even in silence, not having to say anything. We don't have to use words. We're just here together in silence and rest, resting in God. So we light our candle and we pray for everyone else in our community, um, those who are not with us today, but will watch this video later. We send our love and everyone who's ever been part of the town community, maybe who took a different path, we send them our love as well. We also pray for our families, for the needs of our families, and I thank you for the, your prayers for my family because they worked, of course, they always do. And we pray for our friends. And we have many friends with many needs, with health needs, um, who are in crisis. So we just close your eyes for a minute 
and think of people especially that you would like to pray for in silence. So we uh, also remember those who have passed on over the Rainbow Bridge to uh, be with the spirits, the living the world of spirits. And we pray for them. And we pray for those who have no one to pray for. And we pray for people right this minute, suffering, pain, despair, disillusion. You may feel suicidal or in hospitals, cancer treatment, nursing homes, prisons. We pray for those people whose heart is in total anguish and who are at the edge of despair that God may show their love for him and for her in some special way, we send them our love. And we thank you, God, because we know you hear our prayers. Amen. Oh, and we're going to start off with uh, inviting the wonderful sisters to uh, ring their bells for us. So we begin today with, um, uh, with celebrating the Feast of St. Thomas, and I'm going to share this very uh, beautiful and moving, profound painting uh, of St. Thomas while I read to you uh, a little bit about his life. Um, picture shows the um, kind of pivotal story that we think about Thomas. We think of Thomas as doubting, the doubting Thomas. Um, and here's what Universalis describes. He says, it says the apostle Thomas is famous for doubting the resurrection of Jesus when his fellow apostles told him about it. But if he is a skeptical apostle, he is also the believing apostle for having seen and touched a risen man. He made the immediate leap of faith and so became the first apostle to call Jesus God. So Thomas leapt from doubt to faith. Nothing is known about Thomas's later career. <clears throat> a well-known a uh, document called The Act of Thomas relates his missionary journeys to Persia and India. Although the document as it stands is not historical evidence, it still bears witness to the likelihood of a tradition that Thomas did go to India. And I want to share with you uh, this uh, lovely image of uh, St. Thomas as a Maharaja, uh, teaching, sharing his uh, spiritual blessings with people in India. Let's see if this, who it is. <laughs> That's a painting of St. Thomas from a church in India. 
and uh, so um, the uh, if you're writing something that you intend to use to convince people of a controversial doctrine, you don't you do not invent completely new facts. Instead, you weave the existing facts and traditions into something that suits your purpose. Thus, the very fact that the heretics used a journey of St. Thomas, um, in particularly in Gnostic teachings, to support their case, shows us that in the third century at least, there would have seemed nothing implausible about such a journey. <clears throat> the journey would have been easy enough. Important trade routes lay that way. And if some of the apostles went west to Rome, the center of the world, there's no reason why some others should not have chosen to go east to the edge of the known world. We will probably never know for certain, but the Christians of Kerala, India, have called themselves for centuries St. Thomas Christians, and they may be very well right. And here's a lovely uh, reading um, from uh, that that describes um, oops, where is it? Um, that uh, describes um, some of the uh, um, prayers and the thoughts of the of actually of the Pope on Thomas. And, let me, and, and on doubt and faith. So let me get the readings for you. Apologize for being not as well organized as usual um, this morning. Uh, okay, well, I tend to be fine. Um, the, uh, the reading that I, the, that a prayer that I wanted to um, share with you was the uh, prayer by um, actually Benedict the uh, could you uh, put yourself other shoulders um, hearing somebody's music thank you um, so Pope Benedict actually wrote that doubt it can be a very good thing because it can be a way for people to uh, communicate with each other. Uh, I still hear some music. Thank you. That well, Benedict said, Pope Benedict said that doubt can actually be a healthy and useful thing that when you have uh, two people who uh, doubt each other's positions, um, that can be a way for people to begin communication and genuine dialogue. And that doubt is also good for our humility. And that when we begin to resolve doubt, it can be a means for us to um, take a great leap of faith and faith is when we realize that god totally loves you so we thank you god for whatever doubts we may have at any time in our life and we ask prayers for doubts that we have at the present time or we'll have in the future be turned into great leaps of faith and love for you Thank you for our presence. Brother Sean, I still hear your uh, music. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we're now going to begin our uh, Universalis uh, for today. Um, the feast, the Vespers evening prayer. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, Mother, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the hymn today, I'd like to play a um, 
Hindi Christian song about Jesus and share that with you. Protect your pet this flea and tick season with Chewy. Find everything from flea collars and sprays to prescription. चाहता है यीशु तेरे दिल में 
जगना चाहता है आसमा का राजा कुछ चाहता है I love the line that he comes in the skies as the door to your freedom. So let's open our heart as the hymn asks us to do, and let's continue with our prayer. Um, I'm going to read Psalm 15, uh, Psalm, uh, sorry, 118. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet, a light for my journey. I have firmly sworn to keep your just laws. Lord, I am greatly afflicted. Receive me as you have promised. Lord, accept the vows I make and teach me your judgments. I hold my life in my hands. I remember your laws. The wicked placed a trap for me, but I did not wander from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on carrying them out forever until the end. Glory be to the Father, Mother, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And a short reading from Colossians. Grace and peace to you from God our Father. We have never failed to remember you in our prayers and to give thanks for you to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, ever since we heard about your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you show toward all the saints because of the hope which is stored up for you in heaven. It is only recently that you heard of this when it was announced in the message of truth. The good news which has reached you is spreading and bearing fruit all over the world. Uh, and for the Magnificat, I'm going to play something very special, a uh, beautiful sacred dance in, done by Indian Christians for Mary to worship, a uh, worship dance in Hindi dedicated to Mother Mary. Enjoy. Very beautiful. It's called Mother Mary, I Worship Thee in, in Hindi. Oh, 
has your back throughout your journey because it matters who you travel with click to download today हमारा प्रतिदिन का आहार आज हमें दे और हमारे अपराध हमें क्षमा कर जैसे हम भी अपने अपराधियों को क्षमा करते हैं और हमें परीक्षा में न डाल परंतु राय से बचा आमीन सो नाउ वी कंक्लूड आवर प्रेयर अ Lord God, when the world lays in ruins, you raise it up again on the foundation of your son's passion and death. Give us grace to rejoice in the freedom from sin which he gained for us, and bring us to everlasting joy through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So, uh, of course, at the end I found the um a uh, quote that i was uh, looking for earlier um and uh um it uh the um the uh, quote uh the, the, one of the beautiful quotes uh from um why is this not uh showing the whole page okay um So we'll end with when we go from doubt to faith. Um Henry J Newman reminds us that when Jesus talks about faith, he means first of all to trust unreservedly that you are loved by God. And it's not faith if you understand everything. We don't. <laughs> And Pope Benedict reminds us faith is walking with Christ. faith will also always appear as a contradiction to the world faith is a challenge faith is a great risk and if you give yourself to it faith is a wonderful adventure so on that we will end our adventure of faith together um blowing out our candle and blow the light of the spirit to you and again remind you of the three great words of Julian of Norwich silence flee and repose and we close with a beautiful hymn to uh St Thomas to uh celebrate his day him of St. Thomas. Oh, sons and daughters, let us see the King of heaven, the glorious King, for 
death and hell rose triumphing. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. That night the apostles met in fear. Amidst them came their Lord most dear. And said, My peace be on all here. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. When Thomas first the tidings heard, how they had seen the risen Lord. He doubted the disciples' word. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My pierced side, O Thomas, see. My hands, my feet, I show to thee. Not faithless, but believing me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. No longer Thomas then denied. He saw the feet, the hands, the side. Thou art my Lord and God, he cried. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. How blessed are they who have not seen, and yet whose faith has constant been. For the eternal life shall see. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Wow, how wonderful. So I wish you all, and may the Lord bless and keep you, may he make his face shine upon you and grant you peace. So I send you all my blessings of peace. Salam, shalom, peace, namaste, om shante, oxybonum. May the Lord be with you the rest of the day, the rest of the night, until we join together in friends. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. Amen.